2018 was the best year of my life. Mainly because England got to the semi-finals of the World Cup. It's been about 30 or 20 years. And it was just such a big achievement for England and just for everybody in country that we got this far. And the players on the pitch must have been so happy and so proud of the team. I think England's going to win Euros in 2020. And this is why. It's In England squad now, we've got so many good players. We've got Marcus Rashford, Harry Kane, Maguire, Stones, Walker, Sterling. I know everybody says that they think he's, he's rubbish. In World Cup in 2018, he played well. I don't care what anybody says, I think he played well in 2018. He helped us out a lot. Marcus Rashford, he has scored the most goals at the age of 21. He scored more goals at 21 than Ronaldo. And this is an England player. He didn't have much game time at 2018. But when he did play, he played right well. He's playing right good at Man United right now. And in 2020, I think he's just going to be such a good player. He's going to have developed more. He's going to be more confident. He's just going to be an all-round better player. And same goes for all England team and all. We've got a lot of young players in that team who are just going to grow. Another good player at World Cup, Harry Kane. He won Golden Boot at World Cup. I think it's called Golden Boot anyway. He scored most goals in World Cup. More than Ronaldo, Messi... Aguero, just any good players like he scored more than them. And that it's just such a big achievement. And we've won a penalty shootout and all for the first time in about 30 or 20 years. Gareth Southgate missed a penalty and he's lifted that curse and he's just redeemed his send this year because he's managed England team with one penalty shootout. When Eric Dyer scored that penalty, that was his best moment in my life, that. Now I'm lucky, because I had to wait that long to see England play so well. It's brought back a lot of people. It's brought back a lot of people who didn't want to support England because they weren't playing well. A lot of people started to believe again that we could win World Cup again, like we did in 1966. Like obviously I was one of them people and all, but I'm not as old as them and I, you know, I ain't had as much hurt as them. Even getting to semi-finals at World Cup, that's such a big achievement. And if we did beat Croatia, now if we'd have beat Croatia and got through to the finals, I think we'd have put up a good fight against France. Like, I don't know if we'd have won or not. I don't think we'd get thrashed, because all the players were just playing right well. I think we could have won that match if we'd have played against France. I mean, in this Nations League, I think it's called. I don't know if it's called that. But we've, we bet Spain. Like, I think we could have bet France if we'd have got through. A lot of curses were lifted in 2018 World Cup. Now, I think we're going to win Euros in 2020. We've got so many good players that we're going to be developed when it is 2020. Like I said before, Harry Kane, Rashford, etc. They're all going to be right good players because they'll have more experience. And a lot of games at Euros in 2020 and all, a lot of games are going to be in England. I think even finals at Wembley. Like, because imagine if we, if we got through to the final, and we've got all England fans supporting us in England. Like, that would be so good. Like, I, I'd, I'd get tickets to that match. And a lot of people are saying and all that England, we, we got easy route to semi-finals. But we still had to work hard. We still won the matches, we still scored goals. I know a lot of you might have been annoyed at hearing it's coming home over and over and again. We were just proper passionate about it. And it wasn't easy. We still had to beat them. We still had to win a penalty shootout. Harry Kane still got golden boot. Gary Southgate were, were a great manager during the World Cup. I do honestly think that we're going to win Euros in 2020. Obviously, it's not as it's not as big as a thing as winning a World Cup. But if we win Euros, then it'll drive England players to want to win 2022 World Cup. Even though we didn't get to the final in 2018 World Cup, it gives a lot of hope to fans. A lot of players are determined. They want to play for a shirt. They're not just playing for money. You could tell that them players were playing for that shirt. They were playing for them free lions. The players wanted it. The fans wanted it. And that's why we got so far. We need to replicate this next year. And I think we'll win. I don't know where we're actually going to be playing like. I don't even know if fixtures are released yet. But if we play how England played in World Cup, we've won the Euros. Please leave a comment below what you think, leave a like, subscribe and I'll see you later.